Hello, it's Greg James, and today I'm at Digital Spy talking about my secret obsession. I have been obsessed with this person for maybe 20 years, maybe more. And this person is weirdly one of my biggest radio inspirations. I think a lot of people who know me well will know that I am really into this person, but they won't know to what extent. And that's why I'm here today to tell you everything about it. And my secret obsession is you are. <laughs> Alan Partridge. And I mean everything about this character. Who I get to the point where I do feel like he is real. And I went to university in Norwich, which is where Alan Partridge is from. And uh, it was ma a massive inspiration when I was getting into radio. And um, I try and get as many Alan Partridge quotes into my own shows. Um, I've read all the books that he, he has done. Um, I've even got a cardboard cutout in um, <laughs> in uh, in the spare room where I get dressed in the morning, early morning, uh -huh! to go and do the breakfast show. And he's right next to the mirror, so I look at him next to the mirror and then look at me to make sure that I haven't dressed <laughs> too much like him. <laughs> this is also something that I've actually never admitted to anyone maybe apart from my wife, but ever since they did uh, the, the, that show on BBC One called This Time with Alan Partridge, which was essentially a, a piss take of the one show, I haven't been able to, to say that I'd like to host the one show. The, the one show have asked me to host it to, as a guest host and I've actually said no because I think it's too, too much like Partridge and I can't do it without thinking that I've actually become him. So it's the one show is done me. I, I do use quite a lot of Alan Partridge quotes in my daily life, where to the point where I feel like I probably have merged into him a little bit. Uh, and I've, I've developed an obsession with Richard Madeley, who I think is the, the, the next best thing to, to Alan Partridge. I think he's sort of merging into, into him. Um, the quotes I use in my daily life I like the one where he says, uh, he talks about his PA Lynn. He says, my tireless PA Lynn, 50. Oh, my head, it's just not going. Can oh, you see him down. trying? Oh, Calm I, down, I, Lynn. It's just not moving. Calm down. Calm down. Calm. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down, Lynn. <laughs> You're suffering from minor women's whiplash. <laughs> it's normal. Your, your airbag's deployed. Mine hasn't. <laughs> so I use that when I'm talking about Bella, my wife, which she uh, hates very much. So that's why I keep doing it. I think my favourite episode is from I'm Alan Partridge, series one, where he's living at the Linton Travel Tavern. And uh, he it's essentially an episode where nothing happens. They're renovating the hotel and he's the only guest staying there. And nothing really happens in the episode, but he ends up going to the petrol station um, and, and just walking up the side of the A A11 singing. Uh, James Bond themes, and then dismantling his Corby trouser press. Oh, hello, Susan. Um, slight problem. I was a bit bored, uh, so I dismantled my Corby trouser press. <laughs> and it's one of the greatest bits of comedy I've ever seen. I love it. And also, I use that as a as a don't become this message. So far, I think I've avoided it. Thank you for watching My Secret Obsession. I feel a lot better about it now getting it off my chest. Um, now go back and watch This Time with Anne Partridge and then watch the one show tonight and see that it's essentially the same thing. Mm -hmm.